Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Bite Size Reviews. I've actually gone through like 90% of the samples I picked out, so I'm pretty excited to do some mini reviews on those and then pick out some new samples. I actually just placed a Sephora order not too long ago to pick up a couple of the new Fenty lipsticks. I'm wearing the hot pink one today, and... Uh, whew, I love it. This is seriously, I think, like my favorite lipstick formula ever and the color is gorgeous. I love these. Oh, love them. But in that order, I did pick up a couple of samples, and instead of randomly picking my next batch of samples, I really want to try those out because they're products I really wanted to try. So let's just jump right in. So going through all the samples that I did use up, I am wearing two today. So the first thing that I used was this Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Glow Priming Moisturizer. So I did my normal skincare routine this morning, and then I put this on as my primer, and it pilled really bad yeah it, it was very bad like I had to like kind of scrape off the pilling before I put my foundation on today the foundation is sitting pretty decently now but I have no idea about what the longevity is gonna look like because of that I don't know if I would use this again because uh, I really don't know what's causing the pilling is it the product is it just what I normally use in my skincare routine so uh, I'm probably just gonna declutter this because I don't think I would reach for it again. The next sample is the foundation I'm wearing which is from Lancome and these are the Tent Idol Ultra Wear Foundation Poofs? Puffies? I have the shade 110 and 220. I mixed them together and then I lightened it up just a little bit with a light mixer. This does oxidize because even with mixing it I saw I put half my face on and then when I put the other half on this was a lot darker than what I just put on my face. So it is oxidizing but it actually looks really nice. I do have two more little poofs so I do want to use those up for the next video as well but I'm really liking how it looks so far. I do like saving these foundation samples for when I work from home, like today, because I, I never really know how they're gonna go. <laughs> and I'd rather just be safe rather than sorry. Speaking of, in my last video, someone was so kind enough to warn me that this YSL Touche Claw Glow Foundation is like super oxidizing and poor thing like her, her face oxidized like almost two and a half shades like darker. So. I'm a little bit hesitant. I will carry this over, but honestly, knowing that, I wouldn't really try this foundation, especially because I don't even know what shades these are. These are already too dark for me, I'm pretty sure. And then they have an oxidize on top of that. I might have to declutter this to someone who could get better use out of it. Something I'm also going to declutter, I've carried this sample over a couple of weeks and I never use it. Uh, it's the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. If I haven't used it by now, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to give it to someone, my grandma, my friend. Well, someone's going to use this. <laughs> the next product I actually used on my hair today, and this was a sample I had a while ago, and then I put over like in my hair care center to use it. Didn't get to it until now, but I got to it. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment, and I used it like a leave-in treatment kind of conditioner thing before I styled my hair. It's not fully dry yet, but it does look and feel really nice. There was actually almost too much product in here for a single use, so kudos for them. I have very thick hair. It's nice to see a hair sample that I can actually get full use out of. Um, so I really do need to see how it's going to be at the end of the day, but so far, so good. The next sample, also another hair care sample, was from Amika, and this is the Curl Core Enhancing Gel. This was actually enough to get a full use and do my entire head. If you missed the get ready with me where I show you my full like hair care routine, I'll throw it up in the cards. But what I do is I wash, I try to deep condition every single time I wash. I don't always do that, but I'm trying to. And then I will finger curl my hair with a leave-in with a curl cream and then I do a gel as my last step. So I use this as my last step for gel and it just, it didn't hold as tight as I would like it to. My hair, my curls were very, they were, they did get frizzy. Um, they were very loose curls and they did get frizzy. They didn't last well to like second or third day hair. Um, so 
this is just not strong enough for me. It was nice to get an actual full try out of it. If you like more of those like kind of sort of messy beachy kind of curl waves, this would probably work for you if you want that. But keep in mind that if you do try to like pineapple and wear your hair for a couple of days, it's not the best for longevity. Another hair care sample. I, d I feel like we've gotten through all the hair care. This is from Biogio. <sighs> I figured this out last video. This is from Bio, Bri, Bio. I keep saying Bio. This is from Briorgio, and this is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Now there was not nowhere near enough product in this for me to use it. I got like these two curls done. So I had to use my regular deep conditioning treatment with this. So I have no idea how I liked it because there's there's it's a tiny little packet, and there was not nearly as much product in here as I thought there would be. So. I have no idea how I feel about this. Last but certainly not least, I had a mask from Kiehl's, and this is the Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Na- Firming Mask. Firming Mask, and it's an overnight mask. I had enough in here for two overnight uses, and I actually really liked this mask. It did make my pillowcase a mess, so keep that in mind. I did have to wash my pillowcase. It's definitely not something I would use every night, maybe like once a week, but I love the idea of an overnight mask. It's so easy. It's easy to remember, easy to do. And then when you wake up in the morning, I always jump straight into the shower. So you would need to rinse it off first thing. If you're not someone who showers in the morning, this might not be for you. I really liked this. I didn't feel... Okay, it says it's supposed to make skin instantly feel firmer and look smoother. I didn't feel firmer, but I felt very moisturized. And I think it was because I just had this layer of moisture on my skin throughout the whole night. And it just kept my skin supple. And I really liked that because I've been getting very dry. The winter is very dry. I'm in an attic. It's dry. It's hot. And I feel like this is something I really should start including in like my nighttime routine. Even if it's not just this mask, maybe just a overnight mask because it helps a lot. All right. So that's everything. Let's jump into the new samples and the two samples that I really wanted to try out are from Hourglass and Milk Makeup. So with my last Sephora order, I did get a sample of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I mentioned in a, a Weekly Wow that I kind of really wanted this, but it's a bit expensive for a primer. This is a nice size sample. I think I could get at least two full uses out of this. So I cannot wait to try this out and see what I think about this primer. The next sample is a mascara and this is from Hourglass. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Oh, this is so cute. I love mini mascaras, guys. Uh, so let's take a look at the brush. Ooh, that looks promising. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah, so bristles very far apart. I do like that. Oh. I'm excited. So I cannot wait to try this out. I love mini mascaras because for the most part you can get them as a sample and you can use them for the same amount of time as a regular mascara. You really should not have to spend a lot of money on mascara. All right, let me pick out the rest of the samples. Okay, picked out a few more samples. I got another one from Glam Glow. This is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. So I don't like spending too much on cleansers. I do have a really nice cleanser from CeraVe that I love to use, but I will give this a shot. It is like a nice full tube, so I could probably get at least a week, if not a week and a half of use out of this. Next, I picked up a little tube sample from Chantecaille, and this is the Stress Repair Concentrate, and there's nothing on the bottle, so I'm gonna have to Google exactly what this is, but something tells me maybe it's like a serum. I will Google and let you know down below. <laughs> Ooh, next I got a scent sample from Hermer. So let's see, this is, I'm gonna butcher this. Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee. I clearly did not take French. And everything is, okay, I found the English. <laughs> Real or imaginary, a garden of awakening and harmony. That, you know, whoever was the copy edit that wrote that, give them a raise. Okay, let's give this an initial spritz. Oh, that's nice. It is very light and airy with just like a hint of um, 
flowers. It smells like a um, a spring rainstorm. Oh, that's very nice. I don't know how it would smell on me, which is why you always test out uh, scents first, but that would be an amazing candle. And our last sample is another living proof one. This time it's a shampoo. So this is the Perfect Hair Day Triple Detox Shampoo. And I'm still on the lookout for a great clarifying shampoo. I'm looking for an affordable one. This living or uh, living proof is not the most affordable, but this does feel like a nice size sample. So I should be able to get a full use out of this clarifying shampoo and I'm excited to try it out. So there are all of our samples and I think our sample basket is finally starting to deplete. There's not too many in here. I really need to go through and declutter. Oh, let me know if you guys want to see a declutter of my sample basket because there's a lot of things in here that, oh, that's Kat Von D. Yeah, <laughs> but there's a lot of things in here that are just packets like this that you really can't get use out of unless you just want to find your shade. So I'm thinking about decluttering my basket. Let me know if you guys want to see a video about decluttering my sample basket. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.